Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be an Excel quick tip for how to do an if-then statement and an if-then-else statement. Uh, so what I've done here is I've created a basic spreadsheet and this spreadsheet, uh, so this is a, an employee name, a title, what they make on a weekly salary, and then this would be for a car dealership as an example. Um, the number of cars they've sold, how much they've sold in accessories and so forth. But what I want to really concentrate on is the number of cars sold and a volume bonus. So what I've done is I've set up some rules here. So down here, if um, you are a junior salesperson and you sell four cars in a week, you get a $400 bonus. If you're a ex sales executive, you sell five cars, you get a $500 bonus. And then as the sales manager, if, all your, if everyone underneath you sells a total of 10 or more cards, you get a $1,000 bonus. So what I've done here is I've put down here in this column D, I've put down the number of um, vehicles that they've sold for the week. And in order to do an if statement over here, what I do is I, um, what I, what I do here is I go to um, this cell here, G2. And what I want to do is calculate if Mary here, and she's a junior salesperson, if she sold more than four cars, she should get a $400 bonus for that week. And you can see that she sold eight cars. So what we're going to do is an if-then statement. So how you do that is you're going to do equals if, just hit tab, and then it's going to ask you for your logical test. So your logical test is going to be, is this number in this cell greater than or equal to 4 and then I'm going to do a comma and then what do I do if that logical test is true I make the value of the cell 400 and what do I do if the um, value is false I do comma and now you can see the value is false lights up and they get zero dollars I hit return and there you see four hundred dollars if I change this to three cars you see that Mary gets zero dollars so I'll change it back to I'll make it six all right doesn't matter if she has you know 99 cars still get um, four uh, four hundred dollars so I'm gonna change it back to three I'll change it to three and so now you see she gets zero dollars but what if um, what if we want to have different tiers of bonuses so that brings up an if then else statement so this is a if then uh, if statement if this number is equal to four or greater then this value is four hundred dollars otherwise it's zero but in reality if we go down here and we look at this scenario what if the volume bonus had tiers so for example a junior salesperson sells between four and seven cars they get a four hundred dollar bonus but if they sell seven or more cars they can get an, a nine hundred dollar bonus so how that would work is we do an if then else statement and so really what we're doing is we're nesting um, if statements within the um, formula. And by the way, I think you can nest, it's either six or seven of these, so it's pretty flexible. So in this scenario, we want to set up an if-then-else statement. And how we do that is we do if, and then we say and, and you'll notice here that now I have a logical test. So I'm going to open parentheses, I'm going to give it my logical test number one, I'm going to say if, this number here is greater than or equal to 4 and then I'm going to do comma and now I have an AND statement here so now I'm going to have my logical test number 2 and also D2 I'm going to click here on D2 is less than or equal to 7 then I'm going to close the parentheses and then I'm going to do comma and what if that's true they get a $400 bonus. So if the number's between four and seven, they get $400. Then I'm gonna do comma if, and now I have a new if statement, and now my if, now, so this is my if then else statement. So, okay, if this didn't match, then this is my else statement. So now I'm gonna say if this number here, D2, is greater than, seven what's my value if it's true they get a nine hundred dollar bonus so now it's nine hundred dollars and what if it's none of these it's going to default to being false so it didn't match here on this test it's 
it's not between 4 and 7 and it's not between or, and it's not greater than 7 then it should be zero dollars so then I close that out and I think I need a second uh, close parentheses there and I hit return and you see it's zero dollars now if I change this to four it should change to four hundred and now if I change it to seven it should still be four hundred but now I'm gonna go ahead and change it to nine and you see they get nine hundred dollars I can make this ninety nine it should be nine hundred dollars and I should also make it eight and it's ninety nine hundred dollars or sorry nine hundred dollars so that's what I want to share with you today. Thanks for joining and please subscribe. And uh, one more thing, I will post this for download on my website. And however, I'll post it as part of a class. And so it'll be under week four of the Excel download. So when I, once I get this posted, I will go ahead and update it and put a note on the uh, video here. Thanks for joining. Take care.